Hey guys, I'm Mike and welcome to our site. We're a small family owned business that specializes in rent to own and what this video addresses is the most common question we get from our buyers and that is how does your rent to own program work? So before I go into that, if you're not there already, you may be on YouTube or somewhere else where you found this video, you can go to mdrealestatesolutions.com to get more information. That's MD Real Estate Solutions with an S dot com. Now, nationally, about 82% of the population cannot currently qualify for conventional mortgage financing. That's because of a variety of reasons like credit problems, foreclosures, uh, being self employed, uh, not having lender required seasoning if you just switch jobs, locations, or uh, started a business, uh, bankruptcy, divorce, and many other reasons even though you may be in a position that financially you can qualify. It's just those other things that sometimes hold people up and stand in the way. And we've helped people in uh, many of these categories because we have the resources to fix the issues keeping you from getting a loan. We just know that a lot of times you may need time. So again, what we're here to talk to you about is rent to own and how it works. Now understand this. Rent to own does not mean rent. The two are not the same. Some folks may think rent to own is, well, I'll rent the house and then I'll decide if I want to buy it at the end. That's not our program. Our program is you are buying a home. You're just buying it in the future, but you're identifying the home today. Uh, you're planning ahead and this works for you. So let's do a scenario starting with rent. If you rent a home and say, I want to buy eventually, but for right now, I'm just going to rent and I'm going to save and put my savings away uh, to, to purchase at some point in the future. Well, depending on what's happening in the market, the market could be appreciating at a faster rate than you're able to save. So if you're lucky enough to even get 1% in a savings account, you may be putting money away getting 1% interest, but the market maybe is appreciating it, I don't know, 3%. So what's happening is everything's flying right past you and you're left stuck with the market having gone past you in that time. Well, in our program, what we do is we turn a house over to you today. You lock in the price today that you're going to pay at whatever point in the future that it is, regardless of how much the home is worth then. The home could be worth twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars more than your today price. You're still paying today's price. It doesn't change. Uh, now, if you have bad credit or any of the reasons we talked about before, that's okay. We talked about. And so here's the steps of the process on how our program works. Number one, well, you view a home. You obviously want to see if you like a home before you're going to talk about moving forward with buying it, right? So. How do we get you in a home? Well, sometimes we have homes that are occupied by our partners who just aren't out yet. In those situations, we're either going to set up a private showing or sometimes there may be predetermined dates and times that are already scheduled where the house will be available to be shown. If uh, there's no one living in the house, then what we often have is the ability that we have an automated showing process. That will be indicated on the home listing where you can log in real easy and then once you arrive at the house, you check in that you're there you get a unique code that you then can then get access to the lockbox. You get the key, you go inside, you take a look around, lock it up when you're done, and that's it. Uh, our buyers that have gone through that process found it very easy. They loved it and because uh, you can go whenever you want. Now, if you like the house, then the next part is you're going to do two things. You're going to fill out what's called the next step form, and we're going to schedule the next step meeting or what's known as the buyer's meeting. Now the next step form, for lack of a better word, is just a brief application that tells us a few of the basics about you. Now the buyer's meeting or the next step meeting, well the purpose of that is that we sit down and we meet face to face. Because we know that you're going to want to know us, we're going to want to get to know you because what are we doing? We're trying to decide on whether or not we're comfortable doing business together in order to move forward. So we're going to meet and decide on whether or not we're going to be doing that. The other thing that we would like to do at the buyer's meeting is learn more about uh, the challenges that you have with either your credit or whatever is keeping you from getting a loan right now so that we can start to formulate a plan to fix those things and get you uh, the right program. 
The other thing that we're going to do either before or after that buyer's meeting is we're going to have you pre-screened by a credit investigation company. What does that mean? Well, you're going to call them or log in online and the first call is going to be free to you. They're going to analyze your credit and they're going to tell you if they can help you or not. 99% of the time, the answer is going to be yes, they can help you. The other important part is they're going to give us a report saying this person or these folks will be mortgage ready in X amount of months in the future. What that now allows us to do is tailor a lease purchase specifically for you in your time frame, usually with a small cushion added to give you more time if you need it. After that buyer's meeting, if you are ultimately accepted, then you're going to put down a deposit of anywhere between 3 to 10% of the purchase price. Now, I understand that's uh, a huge range, and sometimes people say, well, why so different? And the answer is, well, it depends on the property. If we have a property that's getting a lot of activity and there's a lot of competition, then we're looking for the highest down payment that we can get. And you'll understand as we continue the video why the higher down payment is a benefit to you. Uh, because our whole goal is we want to get these homes sold, right? And it also depends on your goals. So if someone says, well, Mike, I really love this home. I want you to take it off the market. What's required? Well, the standard answer is it's 10%. It, for us to take it off for anybody else to be able to look at and take any other buyers out of potentially qualifying, we're going to have to have someone that's going to have at least a 10% because we know if we have someone with 10% down, they're, they're going to be getting a loan with everything else that we're doing with them on, on the back end as well. Can you get into a home with less? Absolutely you can. It's just that up until the point that you're finally accepted and all the paperwork is signed, there could be other buyers that you're competing with. We've had people get into a home with as little as 3%. Uh, many times we've had people come into a home with maybe as little as 3% and then they structure additional payments along the way. So we can be flexible with all of that. Remember, the goal here is to make you look as strong as possible to a lender, to the banks, so that we can eventually get you the loan and get the credit company in a much better position to get that loan, get you across that finish line. And that's what that upfront money is for. Now, the important point that we made earlier, again, is that you locked in your price. So even if the market's appreciating, uh, it's to your benefit to lock in the price today. As far as lease terms, well... Lease terms could be anywhere between one to even up to 10 years. And again, well, why the huge difference? And so the answer is it really depends on your situation. It depends on the report that we get back from the credit repair company of how much time you need. Um, other times it could depend on the property. Uh, the property may require a longer lease purchase term. Uh, it could also depend if we own a property outright, then we don't necessarily have to be in a rush. We can give you as much time as we need. We don't have to push you. Uh, to try to get it done any sooner. Not that you're going to be pushed anyway, but you, you can take your time. Other properties we have acquired uh, through a lease purchase, and so we have a time frame that we have to operate in, and so we have to be able to get you to operate within that same time frame for it to work for everybody. On average, it's probably one and a half to three years, but they can go to longer terms if need be. Now, what you'll notice with the credit repair company, what you'll learn from them is you're going to go through a six-month process. And during that six-month process, they're going to be fixing your credit. At the end of that six months, you'll leave it sit, usually for about another six months, and let it do what's called season. At the end of that, you're going to come back and find out if you need more credit repair or if you're ready to go. Uh, sometimes we have people very early in the process, they're ready to go. They don't have to do anything additional. They're, they're, they're all set and ready to move on. We've seen people increase with as much as 75 to 150 points in the first six months, and so that's really cool. It's great uh, for you. Let's get to the lease agreement, the lease purchase agreement itself. Now, the, the paperwork is very specific to you and the home that you're going to be going into. So earlier at the buyer's meeting, one of the other things that we'll do is we'll fill out what's called a letter of intent. The letter of intent is just a short one-page form outlining the terms, the basic terms that we're agreeing to. So what's the purchase price? What's the monthly payments? What's the down payment or the option fee? Uh, any additional uh, fees towards the option fee? And, and how long the term is. Everything else is done through attorneys. 
So you're all properly taken care of and the actual lease purchase agreement will be signed with an attorney uh, when you go to close on all that. Now, we don't tell you that like toot our own horn or anything. We just want you to understand that unfortunately there are other people out there in not only this industry but all industries and well in our opinion they just don't necessarily do things the right way and so as far as I'm aware we're the only ones that structure it the way that we do to make sure that you're taken care of. Once all the paperwork signed and the remainder of the option fee or the down payment is placed then you're set you're ready to go and as in your move-in date that we had already agreed to ahead of time you move in and you're, you're set. Uh, let me talk just real quickly a little bit more about the down payment. So let's say, for example, you like a home that's $250,000. Well, there might be some folks that say, okay, well, yeah, sure, I can put twenty five dollars down. That's fine. Other folks think twenty five dollars that is scary. I, I, I don't have that. Uh, can I put down maybe seven or eight? And the answer is, well, yes. What a lot of our buyers will do is they'll structure additional payments even after the first part. So they might put seven to eight down in the beginning, and then they'll say, well, Mike, I know that every year I get a tax return at a certain uh, time frame, and it's only X amount of dollars. So uh, let me put a portion of that or half or whatever percentage of that down as additional down. Other folks may say, hey, I have a, a bonus at work coming, so I'm going to put additional down payment uh, when I get that bonus. I want to put that towards the down payment uh, or whatever else we have worked in. And so remember, the whole uh, purpose of that down payment is to give you a better view for the banks when you get the loan. Now, the term of the lease, by the way, even if it's whatever, two, three, five, ten years, whatever that term is, it doesn't mean you have to wait until the end of that term to buy the home. You may have a three-year term and find that in 12 months you're qualified. Well, go get the loan. Buy the house. Your payment's probably going to go down. So it benefits you to buy the house, plus you have all the other benefits of home ownership. So at the moment you're set and mortgage ready, you can move forward and buy the house. You don't have to wait till the end. Now, if you want to take some time to speed up the process, but you haven't found a house yet, that doesn't mean you have to wait. You could go ahead and fill out the next step form if you choose to, uh, so we already have your information. Uh, the other thing you can do if you want is you could go to mycreditteam.com and you could get with Paul and you could start the credit repair process. If you go to mycreditteam.com, make sure you use the promo code PREFO, that's P-R-E-F-O, and you want to use that so you get a free consultation with them. It won't cost you anything to uh, check it out and see what they can do for you. Um, well, why would I say that? Why would that be good for you to maybe start ahead of time? Well, think about it. If you've already started the process and maybe you're competing with another buyer, but you find out and tell me, we find out, and you tell me, hey, Mike, I've already been working with Paul. We're a month into our credit repair. Well, you're going to move to the front of the list, right? Because you've already taken the initiative and you've already taken the steps ahead of time to start on your road to being mortgage ready. So obviously we're going to qualify that as, you know, really good in your favor. And it, it could point you further and move you up in the list if there's other competition on the property. Uh, furthermore, hey, even if you start the credit repair, and you never buy a house through us, which we hope you do. But even if you don't, you're so much better off because now your credit's fixed. So getting things like car loans or other loans that you may need to do other aspects of, of your life, even maybe a job, you're, you could have the better credit to put you in a better position for that. So it's certainly really a win-win. You can't lose. Uh, what I want to encourage you to do, if you haven't already, is make sure you opt in on the website uh, to make sure you get the... Uh, updates for when we send out uh, emails and things like that for additional properties or other information. We don't sell the information. It stays with us and we'll send them to you until you opt out or tell us to stop. And just so you keep on the forefront if there's other houses that come up. Uh, if you haven't seen anything you like yet, you'll get you'll be in the loop to find the other ones that we get. So we look very much forward to working with you and helping you get into a home. And uh, we just uh, wish you that you would make today a great day.